Oh. You guys peep my Cameron Boyce merch. I'm literally in love with it. Hello my kids and queens and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I will be doing something that I have been contemplating doing for a while now, but I feel like there's a lot going on in the world right now and it needs to be addressed. And I feel like I did address a little bit of what's going on in the world in one of my vlogs that you can check out in the iCard up above. But I wanted to get more into my area, if that makes sense. So the girl, let me tell y'all, I had no encouragement until I watched all of Courtreezy's videos. I'll have her channel linked down below in the description box she has started this new series where she rates tiktokers apologies videos when they've said something that's inappropriate or racist and i feel like this is in no way trying to you know throw shade at anyone or anything like that but i just want to address the situation because this does affect me as an african-american makeup artist so in this video i will be not rating but just reacting to the people who created makeup looks for the black lives matter movement now if you don't know black lives matter has always been a thing the name might be recent but the movement for black people trying to get their voices heard and for freedom has been a thing for a very long time and since this year it has sparked a big I don't know what's the word spark the big you know this year like the past two three months it's been very very prominent and now people are trying to teach others that it's not just a trend but something that we should keep promoting and so a lot of people including myself created makeup looks just to show our medium so artists were making paintings or any forms of art showing their support for the movement singers were making songs saying that we were in this together activists were giving speeches on their instagrams or twitters and so i made a makeup look on my instagram account but as an african-american woman it was acceptable but there's been some people in other countries or just other ethnicities that have decided they wanted to do a makeup look and it has smacked them back in the face <laughs> I just want to get this out the way that I am very strong in various rights. One of my new tattoos literally says feminist because that is like one of the biggest things I'm strong on is feminist and women equality. But I'm also very strong in the African American movement as an African American myself. So I saw this and I just didn't know how to respond. It's like you can't be mad completely at them because a lot of them, especially the people in different countries, don't really know what they're doing when they do it. But at the same time it's kind of like come on like you kind of know I guess I don't know how to describe it but let's get into these photos right now for the safety of these people I don't want to put them into any more shade than they've already been put into so I'm just gonna put their picture not gonna add their names but I'm sure you can find them if you really want to online somewhere here's the first picture um from this caption this girl is not from here um but she basically just said just because we are black on the outside doesn't mean that we are black on the inside racist people are the true black heart ones they are black on the inside though they do not know it who's we <laughs> i'm sorry um then she put like hashtag we are one so with this one like i said i get what she's trying to do um and it's not as worse as the ones that i've seen it's just half her face but at the same time it's kind of just like no no please no 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 i don't really know what to say about it other than that um the look is cute please no 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 like reading her caption it doesn't seem like it's out of you know she's trying to obviously get the message out that black lives matter but at the same time she slipped up that's all i gotta say let's move on to the next one okay so this next one um humanity should be our race love should be our religion okay he went the whole way and you can tell it's not his skin because you can i don't know if that's the makeup but you can see his hairline kind of has he's still brown i think I think but you can tell he has on a lot of makeup because where his hairline is it's like lighter I don't know if that's just how he is parts of his ear are lighter but then under his brow is a little light so I don't know if that was just his makeup 
just a little light under his eye. Yeah, this is all the way. Mm. And part of me kind of just doesn't agree with that statement. I know I'm supposed to be criticizing the makeup, but humanity should be our race. I get what he's trying to say, but at the same time, we should be able to have all of our races without being discriminated against each other, if you get what I'm saying. Like, if somebody asks me what race am I, I'm not gonna say I'm human. Like, I'm gonna say I'm African American. I'm proud to be African American, but we shouldn't be like jeopardized because we're African American or we're brown or we're Asian or white. You know what I'm saying? That's just my take on the humanity should be our race part. He just, all I have to say is that they went all the way out with it. The whole skin. Let's get into the next one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this might be the worst one. The makeup tutorial we need today. I see like people on her neck and then I see Corona is the new, I don't know what that says, messin Messiah, I think. I don't know what that means. Um, but that's all the way blackface. Like I know some people say blackface, but then they they do like a little brown girl. No, this face is black, like black. I don't know if this is genuinely just blackface or not because the other people, they were kind of trying to do a makeup look with it. But this is, I don't see no makeup. This is literally just a complete black face. Like her whole face is black, except the top of her head. This might be the worst one because the other ones, even though they were bad, I can still see what they were trying to go for. And this one, I really can't even decipher what is happening here. I really can't. Like I. I don't know what this is. Okay, next one. Mm. Mm. Okay. I love how they give me a Google Translate here because I don't understand. In a racist society, it is not enough to just say that you are not a racist. One should be loudly against racism. Judging from her profile picture, she looks like a light, light girl. That ain't her color. It's her whole body, like her, her whole boobs are. I mean, and the under eye is just very bold choice and the lip. It's like, it reminds me. Oh my God. Y'all know that TikTok trend with the, the British girls and they'd be like, have a little faith in me. Yeah, it's all I need. Yeah, for you all I need. Yeah, you're my G. That's what that reminds me of. Even if it wasn't, it's like each one I slide, it gets more and more. First it was half, then it was whole, then it was black. And now it's the whole body. Hmm. One should be loudly against racism. Yeah, one should. Okay, so on to our next. Oh. Oh, are these in or Somebody's playing with me. It keeps getting worse. It's getting worse. Uh, this caption says, I wish I was black today more than ever. Sending my love and full support to the people who demand equality and justice for all races anywhere in the world. So this person did a whole makeup look, a whole afro, and their whole body like. I wish I could find a picture of this person really. I'm gonna see if I can look them up because I wanna know, I don't wanna be calling people out. Oh, it's not. Yeah, that's not, yeah, she looks nothing like that. She has a wig or I don't know if this is photoshopped, but she has some hair on her and her whole skin is black. Hmm. I don't know, like I really don't, I don't know. Yeah, it kind of looks Photoshop, but at the same time, it looks like maybe it could be a makeup look. Looking at her page, she's not a makeup artist. She takes photos and she creates visuals. So I'm guessing that she like took a photo of herself and like morphed her face onto this person's face. Kind of reminds me of like Diana Ross. Yeah, this is just, it literally is getting worse and worse as I scroll. They keep getting more and more like. Crazy. All right, let's go on to our next one. Okay, so some more people who aren't English, like they're not from America, I'm guessing, but this guy is like completely black. You can tell because his underarm, a lot of these people, because these posts went so viral, a lot of these people took their posts down. So I'm sure I wouldn't be able to find the original. I mean, maybe he has vitiligo and like, I don't know, I'm trying to not make this seem Let's just go to the next one. Okay, so this girl, okay, um, no. She went the whole way with a contact. We are the same. It's not white versus black. It's everyone versus racists. I wish. So this is an actual makeup artist again. She kind of did something similar to what I did. And let me just tell y'all something, a little side note. When I was younger, people would always try to convince me that I was not black. And I feel like that's part of the reason why it took me a while to actually get comfortable in my race 
when I was growing up because people would always think, tell me like, oh, your hair is long and it's not, you know, thick and 4C. If you don't know what 4C is, here's an example of 4C hair. And as you can see, my hair is definitely not that, um, almost close. People would tell me, oh, your hair is very long and not 4C and your eyes are green and you're light skin, you're not black. And I'd be coming home like, mom, what are we? Like, are we anything else? And I would literally go to school and tell people I was Native American just because I wanted to have a reason to explain why my eyes were green, why my skin was light. And the truth is, yeah, maybe my grandma has some Cherokee in her and maybe my mom, you know, did Ancestry.com and she does have European, but I'm sure with what my dad is, it kind of cancels out for me. And even if I'm a bit percent, I'm mainly African American, you know. Just because my eyes are light green, that doesn't make me another race. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm like 99.9% .9 black and my hair is how it wants to be and my eyes are this color because my granddad. So that doesn't make me a different race. Just wanted to put that out there. Um, Cause she has a blue contact in for like, I'm guessing herself. And then for the brown, brown, brown skin person that she has, it's a brown contact, um, which isn't really a big deal. I just wanted to say like, you don't have to have brown eyes just to be black. It kind of takes it a step back because they were getting worse and worse and worse. But this one's not as bad just because it's not a complete black face. I mean, she went the extra mile with her hand. Oh, and the earring. Very tribal. And her ear is black. And the hair is black. Why? Why? Let's go to the next one. I think this is the last one. So this girl, judging from her bitmoji, she is light 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 um i'm not gonna assume her race but she is wearing a dashiki and her face is very dark and her lips look like those little candy things that you put on your mouth stop racism one race yeah that i just mm, she took an extra mile with the dashiki there it kind of reminds me of the last one with the girl with the tribal earring I just want to say before closing out this video that a lot of people may be hashtagging like we're all one race. We come together, we should be one voice in this movement, but the way that you get your message out is what's really important and staying in your lane is what's really important. For people who are not black to want to join the movement and get the message out and post resources and post people's stories is really great and i think that's a good thing because it's a step further from where we were read the room read the room boo uh, a lot of people are educated and i think that's why a lot of these things happen and as i could see from those posts a lot of people weren't american but at the same time there's a time and a place and in this case there's never a time and a place you just don't do that and be in the movement, but don't do too much. Post resources, post different things like that. Um, and I actually got a little backlash on my end from doing my makeup look because people were trying to tell me I wasn't black. But look at my mommy and my daddy. Cause who, wait. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, become a king or a queen. Also, turn on my post notifications if you want a shout out. I don't have a post notification shout out this week, but I will have one in my next video. So all you have to do is turn on those post notifications and comment down below when you have done it. And I will pick a winner for my next video. Follow me on Instagram at SierraXAndrea. And also, I just made a backup Instagram called Little C. So go and follow that Instagram as well. Also, follow my makeup Instagram at C Makeup. Also, follow me on musically Musical. whoa <laughs> did i just say musically what year is it also follow me on tiktok at sierra xandrea hopefully tiktok doesn't get shut down because i don't know what else i will do with my life i love you guys so much stay woke and i'll see you guys in my next video bye